This is gonna be messy. Where's the luxury? <laughs> Yeah. I'm flawed, but in like a really bad way. I don't have anyone to turn to. Yeah. This is really like a therapy session. <laughs> the six of us have all teamed up to raise awareness for mental health. And we're being pushed to our limits to face different challenges across London, as well as being open and honest about our experiences with mental health. Time to find out our next challenge. Right, guys, so oh, yeah. I have. Oh, no. Let's hear it. Give it to yes. us. Okay. So, celebrities, nearly time to get your beauty sleep. We know you're used to being VIPs, so we're sending you glamping for the night. It's getting late, though, so you better get your skates on. Literally. Oh, oh God. Okay. Well, I'm in for the skate. Let's go and get Let's them on. Go. Someone is. <laughs> so, first, we find out we're going camping. Now, roller skating. Is this a joke? Guys, can someone swap? Red doesn't really go. <laughs> <laughs> This is gonna be messy. I'm so just telling you, this is gonna be messy. Morning. Hi. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah. I'm okay. That'll teach me to be cocky. Come on! Out of here! We had roller skating, it's like watching Bambi try to walk in the first five seconds of life. <laughs> My skates must obviously be faulty. Can't be me. Oh my God. Here we go. I really enjoy camping. It'll be a great way for us to bond, and if we all work together as a team, the camp will be up in no time. What a lovely piece of grass for us to set up on. I think just put it like there, like you. Wait, where's the sun? Where's the south? Yeah, this is the tent. Oh. Wait for her. That only sleeps three. Where's the luxury? <laughs> <laughs> I was pretty sure that we were promised a luxury campsite. And who's here to put up the tents? Where are the toilets? This, this goes on the outside. That's the waterproof Wait, bit. Oh, is, is that the floor? Did we bring any snacks? The Tisha didn't help put up the tent at all. She just sat there and gave orders. How long do you reckon it'll take? I'm not good. Thanks. Place the door in the direction of wind. What? Well, there is no wind. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we all just said this. Gonna put this side in first. You lift that onto there. So oh, it. Yes. We actually, look at that. Yeah. We have actually conquered. Guys, we did it. Yeah. 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 So we go into our top of there. It took a while, but we finally did it. Although we might have a small problem. Hang on, we can't all sleep in here. Have we got to put up another tent? what we have here. Yeah. What did I say? Former Boy Scouts. Yeah, you're wow. good at doing fires, isn't you? Impressed. Wow. Oh, looking good, bro. Let's have a lovely little cosy evening. This is more like it. A lovely snuggly fire, roasted marshmallows. This is lush. I really enjoyed that. Mm, that's a nice one. Mm. Well, I have a little message for us here, guys. Okay. Uh, evening campers. We hope you've enjoyed the adventure so far. Tonight, we are encouraging you to open up and discuss your own personal mental health journeys because mental health is health. Anyone want to go past or? When I started doing stuff online, it was, you know, I was 15, 16 years old and it was just to find an outlet because I was bullied in school and couldn't really be myself. And I kind of accidentally became a bit of a role model and I didn't know what that meant. And it led to some amazing experiences and, and I think helping a lot of young people that were queer and going through a lot of the stuff that I went through. When I started to have my own mental health issues, I felt like, uh-oh, I'm no longer this perfect aspirational person for these kids to look up to. I'm flawed, but in like a really bad way. I've suffered with anxiety and depression on and off for many years and at times I couldn't eat, I couldn't sleep, I couldn't work. I'd find myself crying for no apparent reason and this year was particularly bad. I fell into a, a deeper hole than I ever had before, one that I didn't even know that I could get out of. And so 
I delayed getting the help that I needed. And the minute I, I leaned into meditation therapy, uh, medication where it was needed, my life came back to where it needed to be. Oh, I, love I was that eating feeling. again. I'm happy now that I'm in a strong enough place that I can talk about it and say, mental health is health, and that it, you're not alone, and the world needs all of us. I mean, learning a lesson, no matter when you learn it, is learning a lesson, right? And the, the saying is true, better late than never. I really respect Riyadh for opening up and being so vulnerable. It made the space really safe for the rest of us. Is that one massive form of help which most people can seek is like conversations that you just like this that are informal. I think when you're a kid especially, you see things like depression and anxiety, something really clinical and really scary. Mm. And one thing, if obviously if it's not got to that stage where you need like professional medical help, one thing that can be really useful is like just casual conversation with your Absolutely. friends, colleagues, family members, yeah. you know, teachers if they're willing to help you. Talking to somebody about your mental health is so important because what poor mental health can do is make you feel alone and sharing your experience with somebody else can remind you that you've got someone else in this and other people have gone through the same experiences and can offer their help as well. The confirmation that you're not alone, I think exactly, that's what's yeah. really important. And creating an environment where people feel safe enough to talk about their honest feelings without mm. having to put a facade on, yeah. you know, I think that, you know, that would be a huge help. Speak about it, get help and don't be embarrassed. Yeah. Should we go to bed? I'm knackered. I mean, you say bed. <laughs> <laughs> let's roll. OK, let's We go. got deep tonight, didn't we? But you know what? It felt so good to just be open and vulnerable with this gorgeous bunch of new friends. And, you know, the floor might be hard tonight, but I think we're definitely going to sleep well after that. Not the best. Did you? It wasn't bad actually. Yeah. It's cold. It's cold though, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Are Good. you feeling after our chats last night? It's quite heavy, but. Do you know what? Like, I feel. I feel like this has been like a therapy session, do you know? It's it feels really nice, good. like letting like stuff out, doesn't it? Yeah. And opening up and. Hundred percent flat. When you become a mum, I feel like. Your friends do feel like you can't go out, you're not allowed to social life, you're like, not like... Yeah, they, like they feel like you're, you know, you, you, you can't do anything. As a single mum, I just feel like I do struggle with loneliness quite a bit. I feel like ever since I did become a mum, I don't really speak to a lot of my friends no more. When I am going through stages where I do feel like really down, it's like... I feel like I do. I don't have anyone to turn to. Oh, that's so I, like, tired, I, though, That's what yes. gets me upset. I, I genuinely feel like I've got no one to turn to. And the only person I do feel like I've got someone to turn to, like who, is my mum. Yeah. But then I think like anxiety comes in a bit then because it's like, oh, I don't want to put pressure onto my mum. I don't want my mm. problems to no, reflect on my mum, and then that becomes her problem. You know, those days where I didn't want to get out of bed my child needed me and I just didn't want to get out of bed, I didn't want to look after him, but not in a bad way, it's just because I couldn't help how I felt. And I just, yeah, I just kind of eventually got the motivation, I went to the doctors, I spoke to a professional, stuff like that, and it helped me massively, it really, really did. It's so sad to find out that Amber feels like she has no one to talk to, like, I know how she feels because I've been there in the past and no one should actually feel that way. I always feel like I'm, I'm bothering people, but I I'm think not that's just saying just this like, now. Like you got us. Like if you ever need to speak, like we're here. Do you know what I mean? Like no, I appreciate that. If, if you ever want to come to London, you can come stay in mine. We'll do stuff with the kids. And I'm honest, honest to God, I know how you feel. Like I'm in London. I don't have like my family around and stuff. So like, it's it's hard. Like when you when you have kids at a young age, isn't it? It's hard because like most of your friends don't have kids. Yeah. And you, I, I get it. Like you feel lonely. I think it works both ways. There's a loss both ways. Your friends have lost you as well. And not entirely, but your priorities are different. Yeah. And your focus is different. And so the things that they would probably want to talk to you about will probably feel trivial. So they won't want to come and bother your life with the trivial things yeah, because yeah. you have something way more important in your life now. I encourage everybody that no matter how big or small you think the problem is, 
reach out to people around you because there's somebody who's definitely on the same journey as you. Maybe you could start something yeah. in your area where that's a thing for you yeah. and other moms that are like you because you probably don't know how many of them are people that are like you. Yeah, that's a really good idea, you know. Yeah, because I think Cause... you are right. I, I do feel like there'll be loads of people who are like, in the same boat as me. Yeah. yeah. It's been so nice to like have this conversation. Though. It actually has. I don't get this a lot, so it's actually nice to have like, the, like girl time. Having the chat with the girls was actually really helpful. And not only was it helpful, but it was just really, really nice. I absolutely loved it. But I don't want to come across like a weirdo, so I was just like, hey, cool, Amber. Because I never really experienced that. You know, I never really get the girl chat and stuff like that. So I did really enjoy it. It was, you know, it was lovely. And maybe I will start a group to talk to other mums. I honestly think it's an amazing idea. This is horrible! Come on, team! Oh! I want to cry. That is taking the absolute liberty. Okay, right. The love I feel between all of us now. Leaving this, I'm leaving the excess baggage. 